Good morning. Well, I can tell you it is morning. It's been a few weeks since I last posted. In between then it's been watching the weather and using my measured time to plant out. I guess it's always tricky at this time of year. You have to kind of guess when the last frosts are, which you never quite get right. However, time's limited and also greenhouse space. At some point you have to give it a go, so I had my bedding out and sorted out most of a flower border last week. The greenhouses are now pretty clear. Well, meaning there's no stored plants in them other than those that are in their final positions. So most of the front beds here are, are full up. My slowly ramshackle falling down outside cloth, which you can just see there, is yet to be filled with the outdoor toms, of which more later. So I'm walking down the main plot here, that's on the left. I know sometimes it gets a bit confusing. And then once I go through that arch, I have both there and there, if you follow my finger. So all the bedding was out, some surplus went home. Decided to go for it and just get the baskets out yesterday. I'm just a bit sick of putting stuff out, so out it went. Including my, some of my calla lilies. Let's see if you can see something. I don't know if this is a uh, baby peach. We live in hope. At one time I used to get really ahead of myself and as the uh, vines are coming out I'd start pruning these right back which is a bit foolish because you're pruning them prior to the flowers coming out. Let them get a bit straggly, you'll know the flowers come out. I'll be perfectly honest, not that it matters because I never actually get any grapes. I do actually off these or if quite small. So there's some space here for outdoor toms. Kept my kabosha pumpkin still under plastic. Interesting, I note my nine year old summer variety of raspberries are finally beginning to go. I've noticed over the last year or two, but if we just move back here, I notice this uh, gap down there. So I think that's a, a note for a clearance in the autumn and changing it. I'm kind of going out of order here. So you'll have to bear in mind I'm just about to go backwards. Still kept the climbing beans under glass. I don't think it's going to do them any harm. Just make sure I keep them watered. Yeah, pumpkin, not pumpkin, banana. It's quite early. So I was speaking about frost and I know it was yesterday when I was just putting stuff out, tidying up. Up here, on this pair, that, and I'm pretty certain that's occurred in the last week. And my neighbor mentioned some of her hanging outdoor toms got a bit singed but it, again it wasn't forecast so even at this late stage in apparently fine weather um, you can get caught out but I'm not exactly going to fleece a tree. Hedge comes into its own or had come into its own during the planting out stage stopping the cold winds. Now it's just ornamental and a bit of a bane because I have to keep it tidy. Got one last hedge to sort out here, out the back, which is hazel. Little jobs left now, such as once the uh, strawberries have set, fleecing them. A little bit of a break at this time of year, really. It's that English word pottering. That's what's left to do for a wee while until. get the first of a harvest which tends to be big harvest that is that tends to be the garlic so my outdoor frame yet to be filled with tomatoes 
if I have any. That's a story I'll just mention. I just did. Anyway, last time I mentioned um, always keep some fleece handy in your greenhouse because this time of year, especially if you get a nice spell as we've just had, the sun is incrementally stronger and you can scorch your plants. So, being in a bit of a rush this year, I cleaned my main greenhouse during this period and the plants that had been in there fine for <coughs> several weeks suddenly, suddenly became as sensitive to the sunlight and lo and behold I ended up scorching around 50 of my tomato plants. Many were meant for home because they go outside and they'd extend the harvest because of different conditions so it looks like I won't be having them. Seem to have gone mad this year these broad beans. This last week I've been sorting out what tomatoes have survived and chilies. Unfortunately, fortunately, because it's been a mild year, I've got loads of chilies. So I've made sure I've followed my advice this time and they'll remain the tomatoes at the back under fleece. Still I managed to find the money and fork out for something I'd been wanting to try for ages, the um, grafted tomato plants. I had considered doing it but I think you've got to be a bit of an affectionado to, to go to the effort for it but maybe one day. And on the top are various um, basils. Some of the Asian basils you can't buy in the shops here so I can grow it myself. Pigeon netting. I always go on about pigeons but I've been reading and listening two schools of thought. One, apparently there was a large migration of these creatures into Europe sometime after the Second World War. I think that's what I'd read. A second is in the north of England people used to keep them for racing. It's pretty rare they do now. Where have they all gone? So we go in my sparkling new greenhouse and you can see after the fleece came off, it's gone back on. And we have a look at a random tomato here. You can hopefully see and listen. Oh no, we've gone a bit soft. So I, I kept a few, some are coming back, so it's um, not that bad. And mostly they're the outdoor ones. And underneath here, are reams and reams of chilies. I just remembered this morning I've got to put my Epsom salts on. I think that magnesium in that hardens them up because they go over a week a, a tougher green. You can see it over time. <coughs> and I think on that cherry I showed you last time there is a cherry. The plastic's off now. They look a bit soft and loose, but they'll um, <coughs> they toughen up with the rain. These onions. So all the brassicas out. We're due for a, a slightly damp period, but not particularly cold. Hence, I was rushing down this morning to film this. And these brassicas, if you can see, are just going to take off. It's a bit bright this morning. Still have to take the fleece off this large pumpkin. I managed to get them out without um, without killing them, which I found quite amazing, to be honest. This is not so much bird proof. It's more. It was more for the wind when I put them out. I had to put them out, as mentioned, with time, and unfortunately, there's been a casualty of war. Suppose cleaning the greenhouse it just goes to show how much power extra you get with clean glass. There it is, we're looking at the first of a major harvest. It's not yet, about another six weeks, but it's starting to go yellow. Some of it's rust, but it's starting to go. 
that small greenhouse. I've been left bereft of plants following my scorching incident. So for the first time in many years, I'm actually gonna have to go out and buy some plants. And uh, I think I'm gonna have a go at melon if I can find any. My neighbors kindly give me one. Probably need two or three more. I don't know if you can see, it seems to have left a lot of space for these cabbages. Cornish giant. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I really improved the soil with <coughs> some root grinding so it's very moisture retentive. And that's what these plants like, they like wet feet. Although you've got to protect from club root. Compost and builder's lime mix. And it's why putting out brassicas is such a pain in the bum for me because it takes me ages. Now those trees at the back, slightly off topic, they're ash. They always take a little bit longer than other trees to come out. We have a disease here at the moment, I think it's knocking on the door to the east in Yorkshire, of ash dieback. And some of these trees, I know, especially those just there in the middle, last year their crowns were very loosely populated with leaves. I understand that's one indicator of, of ash dieback. We'll see if they get it, but they're big old trees, which I'd hate to see come down on anyone. slightly new technique for me. I've not covered the top, I've just covered the surrounding sides. But pigeons, they're like a, a clear runway, they're big old beasts like Hercules, I guess. All the Boeing army carriers and uh, this is enough to put them off. Again, guy lion, Asian cabbage. That's not, that's a horse chestnut, that needs to be weeded out. And it loves sitting in the damp. And my box is now filled with flowers. It might look tidy, but I have to admit, with all this storage space, which I'm not showing you in here, because I'm vain, I have to cram the doors closed because they're absolutely full of pots and they need sorting out, which now the bulk of the planting out has been done by that small greenhouse. I've got the luxury of, if you call it luxury, to sit down and sort them out, which will be for next year. Tempting not to do it, but well, I think six, seven months from now, eight months, nine months, whenever, cold, miserable, frosty. I just want to come down here and get them out, not sit there in the frost or rain sifting them. Oh, someone's growing a courgette. Well that's all from this update. Next time I see you things will be slightly, slightly different. Take care and good gardening.